Breaking the mental battle. You see, we are always at constant war within ourselves. The biggest obstacle that we need to endure is ourselves. So how do we win the battle, win the mental battle every single time? Hello everyone, welcome back to Jazz Shares. I'm so excited to share this word with you all. I feel like by sharing my personal experience within having these mental battles and sharing what has helped me, I believe that this will at least free one person watching this. It can be so hard living within our emotions and allowing our emotions to get the best of us. So how do we win the battle? We have to prepare. We need to mentally, spiritually prepare. What do I mean by this? What do I mean by preparing? You have to invest in your knowledge, in your mind. You need to attend seminars. You need to invest in coaches mentors you have to watch videos you have to read books to help you break down the negativity that's lying from within you and when you don't do these things it's very easy to fall into the victim mindset and stay stuck in the feelings because you don't know how to get yourself out of it within this life that i've been living i've learned that you cannot do it alone. I've been doing this walk by myself, trying to figure it all out without asking or seeking for any kind of guidance. And by me trying to figure it all out on my own, I had to go through unnecessary trials, unnecessary challenges for so long because I decided not to utilize my voice i decided to allow fear to take over and this leads into my second point of preparation you have to get into the word of god you see the word of god the bible is so powerful that it will break you free from the mental bondage that you are facing. Time and time again, the Bible shares that God is always with us. He's always walking with us through the trials, through the tribulations, and it tells us to not be afraid, to not be afraid by these negative emotions because his word is a spiritual weapon to fight against evil. Spiritual warfare is real. From last week all the way up until yesterday afternoon, I was going through it. I felt so unmotivated. I couldn't find purpose into the things that I was doing. I was going to bed super late. I was waking up and laying in bed for hours for hours because I didn't want to go out and be this person that I've been seeking to be. I just didn't have it within me anymore. But I knew I had to get out of it. I knew that what I was feeling wasn't truly me. And if I allowed myself to stay stuck there, I would be behind. I would be letting myself down. I would not be fulfilling my purpose, my life mission. So how did I move out of this funk? I moved my body. I talked to my coach and I was explaining everything that I was facing and he was like, girl, you are operating at a very low frequency. So in order for you to get out of this, we have to do something about it. And he does this time and time. Every time I'm feeling out of funk, it's a tapping method. And this is not no spiritual woo-woo stuff. It's literally proven to relieve stress and anxiety. And you can search it out. It's called EFT tapping. And I'm going to briefly explain what it is for those of you who have no idea. EFT tapping focuses on tapping the 12 meridian points of the body to relieve sets symptoms of a negative experience or emotion and guys when i did this when he walked me through this i allowed 
everything that was piling up within me out. And that's why it's so important to allow your emotions to leave your system to set yourself free because when you hold your emotions in when you stay stuck into this mental battle then it's going to be a domino effect it's going to show up in your outside world that's why it's so important to not stay stuck in the mental battle to not allow the mental battle to overrule your life and that's one of the ways how we can truly partner up with God by taking that one step forward and break free from what we're facing. You need to start taking responsibility over your whole entire life, especially your emotions. God will help us, he will lead us, but he won't do it for us. We have to do the work. Lastly, to break out of this mental bondage, to win the battle of negativity is having a routine. A routine that will get you back into the rhythm of your highest self. That will get you back into the rhythm of your purpose. When we are experiencing a mental battle, that just means we are lacking self-care. So whether that's journaling, going off for a walk to clear your mind, doing some yoga, dancing putting on a face mask like even screaming guys screaming is literally one of the most powerful ways to release the negative emotion trust and believe i've done it before and it feels so freeing just scream at the top of your lungs like you could do it in your car you can do it in your room if you have people in your vicinity but like your home just grab a pillow and scream into the pillow so you know nobody can hear you and even if they do mind your business like literally if you have not tried it try it i'm telling you it will set you free and by showing up for ourselves in this way, it's recreating this love that we need. When we are in a negative state, subconsciously, we are neglecting ourselves, which tends to lead to this mental abuse that we move towards. And my friends, that is the key, the ultimate key to having self-love, is when we are constantly showing up for ourselves even at our lowest that is how we win the mental battle by constantly saying hey i love you therefore we are going to work out of this therefore we will allow ourselves to move through the emotion and not force it but move with love and take care of ourselves like we would as a little child you have to come into this understanding of showing yourself some grace and not allowing all these negative words dictate who you are dictate of your worthiness dictate what you deserve because we all deserve a life full of love, but if we are not giving that love for ourselves, we will never be able to receive it at the capacity that we want to receive it. And so with that, my friends, I hope this word really broke something from within you. I hope it freed you from the mental bondage that you're experiencing. And I hope it serves as a guide to keep moving forward even when it gets hard, even when it seems impossible. Trust me, you will be able to move through it. And trust me, no weapon shall form against you in Jesus' name, point blank, period. With that being said, I hope you all have a fabulous, wonderful time, and I'll catch y'all later. Bye.